For the first time in five years, Sammy Callahan is back in action. You watch that too. Inside the Fawnton 2300 Arena in Philadelphia. Home to many a legend from ECW Prime that inspired the wild and erratic style of the Death Machine. He is here to turn that back up to 11. And no doubt frustrated after the events of the past Thursday night on Access TV. Himself and Rick Swan coming up short to the Rascals in the Tag Team Title Tournament Final. Street fun. There we go. Oh, it's Alyssa, Alyssa Marino is a Pennsylvania Philly person as well, so she gets it. So, Ray Walt, here's the thing. 
Eagle season is right around the corner, so everybody in Philly is just kind of gearing up and getting ready. Stop acting like you know anything about being in a fight at all, Tom, okay? I have lost every fight I've been in. Which is zero. But Doki won the cheese steak ladder match That's last right. night. He has a, you know, he has a hankering for uh -oh, the uh -oh, stream. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. But oh! so does the death machine, as he very well let us know on his way out here. And Beta, I'd love it if you'd use the appropriate term of the Pats King of Stakes Philly Cheese Steak Cup three-way tag team ladder match. I, again, I feel like I need to just write it down, read it all. Oh! Chair flying into the ring, Sammy Callahan. Looking for more, though. It wouldn't be a night in the 2300 Arena if at some point the ring didn't get littered with weapons. Sammy, another chair. Less is more never really appealed to Sammy Callahan. No. Brevity is not the soul of hardcore action. I've lost count, but I don't think the exact number matters. A lot must have been. Well, take a bow, Mr. Callahan. Very proud of his handiwork. Make the crowd here maybe for a second. They wanted just five chairs and <laughs> sure. just five guys the group that Doki is a part of, but Callahan would not oblige them. Wow. Wait, is he even his own eight by 10? Well, when you travel, you gotta be ready with merch, right? I do, but it's he's on the Not hitting under the ring. So you're saying this was premeditated by Sammy to come out here this evening and try to do something violent and gory? A weird, strange mind is, oh wait, oh no, no, no. Oh no, I oh, no, oh, no, 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 I wasn't thinking this. Yes. No, no way. Between the webbing of the finger. Mr. Death Machine. Here's the thing, folks. Most of you at home, you don't know what it's like to go through a table. You've never been hit by a steel chair, but you've all been paper cut, and you know how much it sucks. Take that, amplify it by 10 or 20. The armpit? Oh. Yeah, that is a new one. Sammy Callahan, I wouldn't call him the innovator of violence. That's someone else, but he's pretty darn close. Doki here dropping and trying to counter whatever Sandy Callahan has in mind with this chair here. Oh! Drop to the throat, take a seat, Sandy Callahan. Oh, Doki. Uh -oh. Uh, tossed into the chair by Callahan! Cover to win this San Philly street fight and a kick out. I saw the way to see that chair just immediately bent in half. Official that he can go, and Callahan thrilled to hear that. He's got a pile of chairs on top of his opponent. Oh! Callahan really in his element here. Trade, he's a pro. And that trade is fine. Oh, easy now. Easy now. Oh, <laughs> Toss Doki into the steel 
little chair in the corner. Doki trying to prevent that. Oh! oh. And Zaguri there by Doki. Uh-oh. Kelly! And in first into the steel chair. And the aforementioned tool of the craftsman turned against its user there. Sammy can remember that he was the one who set up that chair. He's got to be regretting now. Doki was shopping underneath the ring himself. Uh, it's Philly. There's literally anything you could imagine under there. And Doki pulling out a kendo stick. And then all legal in this South Philly street fight. Out of the way, everybody is now, I'll tell you that much. Bear up. Oh, right to the midsection. Callahan absorbs it. Oh, thumb to the eye. No disqualifications. It's all legal. Shout out to the Sandman. Callahan. Oh, great block. Uh, you have to imagine that just reverberating. Oh, drop to old face first when Callahan to the stand. Oh! <laughs> well, you talk about the innovator of violence, made a little shout to Tommy Dreamer. Made a lot of famous memories Never in this building. Joking. Courtesy of Doki there. Yeah, Doki really effectively using Callahan's own stipulation against him, now piling up the chairs himself. Doki clearly uh, an ECW tape trader back in the day. <laughs> Piling these chairs on the Sammy Callahan, now going up top. Doki on the top turn, oh, and the stop to the chairs to the midsection of Callahan. Cover it. To get the win here, Callahan is still in it. Doki seems shocked. I mean, that is a devastating maneuver regardless, but on top of chairs, but Sammy Callahan, so, so tough. Callahan has made his name on surviving the toughest of the tough, the most violent of the violent. Well, again, keep in mind, this was Sammy Callahan's idea. He invited this violence. You have to be prepared for that to turn around on you. Measuring Callahan, oh, caught by the death machine. Oh, off the top of the twisting neck breaker. Here's the cover. Hook to the leg and a kick out by Doki. Good strength and recovery there from the death machine. Sammy's going back out of the ring. Gee, I wonder why. There's no way he has something else in mind involving some epitome of destruction from underneath the ring. Breaking out a ladder here in Philly. Got a lot of that last night in the <laughs> aforementioned Pats King of Stakes Philly Cheesesteak Cup three way tag team ladder match. Pulls right off the top. And that ladder looks to be a little bit dented. I mean, that may have been a participant in that particular ladder match it last night. We saw, yeah, we saw a few uh, bodies get thrown through those ladders, bending them left, right, and center. Now I could see a little bit more of that. Nothing to climb for here, just violence in mind. Chance of Sammy's gonna kill you here in the 2300 arena. Doki is in trouble. And now the death machine. I am the ladder. Bad news for Doki. Oh, oh, wait. oh and it's Callahan set into the steel ladder, bending it in half nearly. DDT by Doki. Still in this match. That was very, very close. Able to turn that ladder around to his advantage. Dragging Sammy into position for something. He's got hands on this angled ladder. Uh, it still works it's like that. The ladder is big. He left Sammy's body indented in the ladder. Perhaps not fit for regulation use or cheesesteak fetching, but it is work for this. <laughs> and 
Now Doki is going up to the top turnbuckle. Oh, 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 oh. good lord! Spine first out of that steel ladder. Went for the Doki bomb, crashed and burned. Close line by Callahan. Cover. Oh, I'm gonna kick out at one. Doki kicked out at one. On a cactus driver, 97. Cover. Oh, and a kick out by Doki. The official says the match continues. It doesn't get any closer than that. A 2.999. Not many can say they've kicked out of the cactus driver. No, not at all. That referee's hand was coming down for that final sweep. Might have even caught the canvas a little bit, but he saw the shoulder get up. Good call by the official. Sammy Callahan, now trying to fish some chairs that are still able to stand. And how about the sick mind of Sammy Callahan immediately starts constructing whatever it is he's plotting next here against Doki, not allowing the frustration of that kick out to get to him. Oh, not the hair. The beautiful, silky locks of Doki. It's gonna need a lot of treatment before oh, Lord. his next commercial. Oh, dear God. He's trying to set up for the cactus driver again. Not on the chairs. Oh, my God. And Doki trying to prevent it. Precarious situation for both these men standing on top of the chairs. Something's got to give here. Flurry of forms by Doki. Oh, no! Oh, oh and Callahan grabbed a hold of Doki and now thumbs to the eyes. South Philly straight fight. They had a look at the way the chairs are bent. Oh, the imprint of Doki's head in the chairs. Jimmy Callahan, huge victory here. In singles competition, South Philly Free Fight is returned to the 2300 arena. Callahan came out here and said he felt like this event was missing some destruction, missing some violence. Well, he brought it in spades here to Multiverse United 2 and walks out with a victory. Guys, I feel like we all learned something here, and that is it's the death machine challenges you to a South Philly Street Fight. Maybe, maybe think on it a bit. Well, and listen, I'll, give, it a bit. I'll give a lot of credit to Doki. The fact that he kicked out of the uh -oh. Cactus Driver 97, that was remarkable. And what it took for Callahan to put away Doki, you got to give that some fun. And, and except the Death Machine's challenge, I have no thought at the beginning. The guts of Doki proven here, and then some. An honorable fight for one of the best junior heavyweights to come out of Japan. Someone who also competed in the ruling ladder match just last night. Making a big impression. No pun intended given the state of those chairs, but a huge impression here at the 2300 Arena Doki. Great performance here this evening by Doki, but Sammy Callahan ultimately gets the win here at Multiverse United 2. New Japan Pro Wrestling is hosting two of its biggest shows ever. Presenting Windy City Ride on Friday, April 12th at the Wind Trust Arena in Chicago. And Resurgence, May 11th at the Toyota Arena in Ontario, California. Don't miss your chance to see the stars of New Japan Pro Wrestling live. Tickets available at Ticketmaster. 
NJPW Academy at the LA Dojo. Looking to start your journey or add to your existing knowledge? NJPW Academy is the place to be. There's only one place to get New Japan strong, and that's the NJPW Academy. Head to NJPW1972.com for more information. I want you for NJPW Academy. Keep up the hard work, guys. Hey, Royce, where's this one go? Parts unknown. Toclon Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. Common goals sometimes bring strange bedfellows together. 
and there's one more bedfellow in this matchup. And Speedball Mike Bailey in his earlier comments said that he was happy to team up with Hiromu. He wants to keep him close. He wants to get to know him more for that eventual title shot. That's something that has been a hallmark of Speedball Mike Bailey is he has a tremendous amount of respect for everybody that he steps in the ring with. Friend or foe, and hell, that man Bailey went one on one with Tanahashi at the first Multiverse United, and now getting the team with Hiromu Takahashi here tonight. I know it's an honor for Speedball. Takahashi, a four time Best of the Super Junior winner, including doing it three times in a row from 2020, 2021, and 2022, as well as a five time IWP. Junior Heavyweight Champion, an absolutely impressive resume. But as we've mentioned, the we've mentioned those losses that Takahashi suffered to both Bailey and Ross during the Best of Super Junior Tournament very recently. Beta, you get to cover New Japan very consistently. How much is that pressure, that target on the back, getting to Takahashi at this point in time? Well, as you mentioned before, Matt, he's held this title numerous times. And to be a multi-time champion, that means you've lost it multiple times, too. You can call him a time bomb, but tick-tock, I mean, it's only a matter of time before Takahashi drops that title again. Will it beat him like Bailey? Will beat a Leo Rush? Maybe, given Leo Rush's willingness to uh, be a little flexible with the rules. Defender Ruler 10. One thing about the time bomb, I will give it away. That exact kind of thing. Yeah, you win a lot, it means you have to lose the title at some point. And I think you get to know Leonardo Takahashi. He has this very loose, carefree attitude about him. I think that's brought him a lot of success. Maybe it's caused some of those losses as well. But I don't think he wears those pressures that you're talking about too, too well. I think he lets it roll off him, and he just focuses on the task at hand and what's in front of him at any given time. There's the bell. This matchup is underway. Rush and Miguel against Takahashi and Speedball Mike Bailey here in Philadelphia. I'm just mad we don't have Daryl joining us in the commentary. There's multiple Daryls out in the crowd, in the crowd if you want to go. <laughs> fish one out. And they sell them also at the merchandise table. So if you join us ever for a live New Japan event, you can get your own deal. Miguel backing up Takahashi into the corner. Oh, and Miguel. And guys, we've, we've talked a lot about Mike Bailey. We've talked a lot about Leo Rush and how they have their sights set on Takahashi. But Trey Miguel is a perennial contender for any junior title. He is someone who is just always at the top of his game. You have to imagine that people might have a shot at the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title as well. He's a generational talent. Absolutely. Once in a lifetime. Oh, low drop kick there by Takahashi. And now Miguel sent into his own corner. And look at Leo Rush. Tag. He looked a little disappointed, and now he tagged himself in. Listen, Leo Rush doesn't exactly make friends. You and I saw him, Ray Walda, teaming with Nick Aldis in Impact Wrestling very recently. That was tenuous. They did get a win that night, but still tenuous is how I describe Leo Rush's tag team partnerships. Yeah, friends are not exactly what I would describe them as. It's business relationships as far as Leo Rush is concerned. He will ally himself with whom he's got to when he needs to, much like he will do with Bully Ray, Brian Myers, and the wrestling god news. But it ain't about being loyal to friends. Look at this. Oh, no friends here. You have to imagine Mike Bailey was not expecting Leo Rush to take that hand. By the way, look at the body of speedball Mike Bailey. All the bruises from his matches, plural, yesterday. He is not at 100%. Let's acknowledge that. Let's not Leo Rush didn't compete as well. But it was, it was in a different circumstance. It was a scramble match. It was a little bit more fast and furious. Oh, cover here, early cover by Bailey, broken up by Miguel. But to your point, Bailey has two different individual one-on-one -on -one grueling matches. Miguel very active here early on in the match. Oh, oh. Rush taking a shot on the champ. Ooh. 
Oh, what a drop kick by Bailey right to the face of Miguel. Tag to her almost. Speaking of somebody who's not at 100%, we're talking about Lush competing last night. You see the tape on his shoulder, however, that's from a shoulder injury. Shortly following Slammiversary and his title win. Let's not forget Takahashi himself was in the was in the okay. so you have the name of the ladder match now, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I was queuing you up! <laughs> the Pat's King of Steaks. Cheese yes. steak. No, Philly cheese steak. Philly cheese steak. Ooh, um, oh, I'm sorry, I can't finish it. I gotta go back to calling the action guys. Sorry. <laughs> it's the half here now rush. Instead of going for a pin attempt. Just hammering away here on Takahashi. Either way, the point, Takahashi also, it was a ladder match, a grueling one like that. And Trey Miguel, like I said earlier, coming into this match, the only fresh man in this match who didn't have a match of some type last night. So Trey oh Miguel couldn't get the advantage of his team like he's doing right now. I said a moment ago, and Miguel extremely active in this matchup. Tag made and comes to rush. To this one, he's going to use all of it to give his team the advantage. Yeah, Rush is very wow. happy with the way things are going in this match. Handful of hair dragging Takahashi to the corner. Another tag. And Trey Miguel tagging in. Incredibly active, not losing any honor in the process. Now the double team. Roll out here for Miguel and Rush. Great oh. teamwork. And I, I hate to say it, but I'm I'm a little surprised to see oh. Leo and Trey working so well together. Mutually beneficial. That's what I'm saying. Right. It's very much a business relationship. There's a cover. Look to the leg here on the champion and a kick out. Meanwhile, on the opposite side, you know, we talk about all the respect between Mike Bailey and Hiromu Takahashi. That's all well and good, but whenever you have something like a championship matchup hanging over your head, that's something you can't really get rid of. And I think that tension is lying between them despite this outward respect. Well, and it is important to note that Mike Bailey did say that not only does he respect Takahashi, he thinks he's a beautiful man. Well, there's no argument. He really is. He's just a lo lovely individual. Oh, and now Ooh. out of the way, reaching for the tag. Miguel launching himself into the corner, grabbing a handful oh. of the hair of Takahashi. Oh, dragon screw by Takahashi. Trey is hurting. And look at Leo, tag. not happy about what is going on. And Trey oh. Miguel not able to make the tag and said he eats a kick to the face. Kick there by Bailey, and to your point, Beta, Bailey and Rush at odds in this match, but they want to be the first man ultimately to get to Takahashi. Bailey with the advantage at this point in time, closer to a title shot than Rush is. Rush has gold of his own to worry about. Mike Bailey taking it to Trey Miguel here. These two no strangers to each other at all. On a running shooting star, hook to the leg, kick out by Miguel. Leo Rush looking absolutely exacerbated on the apron. As Miguel struggles to get back up to his feet. Uh, look at this, trapping the leg in the suplex. Great job there by Miguel, and in comes the exhibition champion. Leo Rush now taking advantage. Oh, no, bad child. Big clothesline on Bailey. He's trying to set up Bailey there. Oh, whoa. Great wear awareness from Leo Rush. Avoiding the kick. Countering Bailey at every pass. Oh, dumped him high on the neck and shoulders. Kick out there by Bailey. Variation of fisherman driver there from Leo Rush. Not enough though to put Steve Ball Mike Bailey away. And Leo Rush again has to keep that frustration at bay. Forearm shot there by Rush. Oh, maybe a two 
a flying there from Rush. Trey Miguel. Oh, hold on a second. Trying to prevent Rush here. Oh, and Takahashi gets involved. Opportune timing there by the time bomb. And now Rush goes after Bailey. Whoa! Oh, Bailey got Miguel on the outside. Oh, man, and down goes Bailey. Hard on to Miguel. Jeffrey a Rush. Through the ropes, and there goes Bailey up the entrance way. Mike gets launched, now Leo. You gotta be careful, that was how Leo Rush started the confrontation with Saban to win the X Division title, that torpedo that we, we thought took Saban out. Yeah, that's anniversary. Not going up top here. Leo Rush, is he thinking about the final hour? Could this be the end of this tag team matchup in Philly? Oh, wait a minute, able to roll through. Billy got the boots up. Look out. Multiple weapon. Leo gets out of the way. Thought he had it. Now Rush takes away the footing of Bailey. Bare foot right to the face. Oh, beautiful kick there by Speedball and one by Rush. Incredible back and forth exchange between two top tier junior heavyweights. Top tier athletes, some of the best wrestlers in the world in the ring right now. Trey and Hiromu up on the apron, reaching for the tags. Now Rush trying to roll to his corner. Bailey trying to make it to his tag team partner, the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, Hiromu Takahashi. And it's a time bomb to meet Trey Miguel. Oh. Sweat is flying. Slap for slap for slap. Stop between Takahashi and Miguel. Miguel popped back up. What a kick. Oh. Uppercut by Miguel. Takahashi in pursuit. These guys going back and forth. Kick oh. tag. Beautiful. Cover. Oh, and Miguel able to kick out. And now Leo Rush calling out for Takahashi, trying to get his attention. Now Miguel doubles over the champion. Double team combination. Oh. Rush and Miguel. Oh, what a kick by Rush after Miguel hit Avengers. There's the cover. Couldn't get all that cover and then barely protecting Takahashi. Yeah, guys, once again, we keep talking about this, this triangle between Leo, Mike, and Hiromo Takahashi, but if Trey Miguel can pin, can pin the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, you have to imagine he's got a title shot lined up as well. He answers that conversation, there's no doubt about it. And Rush trying to control Bailey on the outside. It's Miguel and Takahashi legal on the inside of the ring. Oh! Kick right to the face, thinking about the lightning spiral. Trying to end it. Takahashi Ooh. with a pop-up power bomb. Takahashi's not done. Here is Miguel though. Uh, shoulders down, shoulders down, Miguel can't put away Takahashi. Yeah. Oh. Back connecting. Oh! I know. There goes Rush. Tornado kick in the corner. Great teamwork here. Up on and the Bailey shoulders. Bailey measuring Mikkel. Oh, the ultimate weapon. The setup by Takahashi. But it's broken up by Rush. At the very last second. From camera right. Leo Rush saving the day. Leo Rush says no way. Not going to let it in like that. Dream. Miguel absolutely decimated Leo making the save and speedball going right after Rush. Huge, huge forearm shot there by Bailey. Rush to the outside. And again, it's Takahashi and Miguel on the inside. Time uh, wants to put this one away. Speaking of the time bomb. Is it time? Oh, wait a minute, Miguel. Right to the eyes. The official didn't see it was behind Miguel. Didn't 
Doesn't see him go to the eyes. Tag made by Rush. I don't know if Takahashi was aware of that. Yeah, he is. Oh, oh, DDT by Miguel. And now it's Rush with Rush Hour. Cover. Champion on champion Ooh. kick out by Takahashi. What a match. Two, two, close. And I think you're right about that. Takahashi had eyes on Trey Miguel. Didn't realize there had been a tag. Meanwhile, Miguel has taken out Speedball, and it's down to Leo Rush and Takahashi. What a look on the exhibition champion's face. He can't believe he is angry that Takahashi kicked out of that now. Climbing up top, you gotta imagine he's thinking final hour. And Takahashi wisely rolls out of the ring knowing the final hour could be coming. Focusing. Wait, 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 hold wait a on, minute. Hold wait a minute. Is he thinking about the time bomb on the outside? And now Mikkel, Mikkel from the apron. Oh, Ooh. and the meteora to Bailey. Rush managing to escape. Oh, and down goes Takahashi. Action spilling out all over the place here. Fantastic action here at Multiverse United 2. And now it's Rush going up top. Oh, went for the final Ooh. hour. Takahashi got the knees up. Rolling through. Oh, look at the power of Takahashi. The presence of mind. Oh, jumping Rush into the turnbuckles. Now once again. Oh, what at the time bomb. Rush countered though, saw it coming. Oh, and the official never saw it was dealing with Miguel on the apron. Rush has pinned Takahashi. Trey Miguel managed to distract the official just long enough. if they would make a good team. I told you some strange bedfellows, but business is business. And for Rush and Miguel tonight here in Philly, business is good. The shot on the face of Speedball Mike Bailey tells the entire story. Did not see what went down there with Leo Rush going low.
to Hiromu Takahashi. I don't know if it's done on camera. I think Takahashi said he's willing. Bailey, none too pleased with this entire interaction. Yeah, and, and Takahashi went so far as to say, bring it on now. But look at Bailey's face. Bailey said, hey, wait a minute. And he called a shot. And Takahashi granted that future title shot to Bailey. Talked about how both Bailey and Rush, via their victories in the best of the Super Kuni, were owed, but now it seems to be a battle of who's going to get theirs first and when. Bailey, none too pleased with how everything's turned out here on Neck 2 in Philly. WGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Clearly, more than willing to fight everybody, but how and when will it all go down is the question. 